someone of the opposite sex you know what i mean regardless of if it's them paying your bills regardless of them laying down cuddling with you y'all chilling and watching tv we always gonna need that that special that's you know what i mean that feeling so i feel like when women are coming from that standpoint maybe it's just they want y'all to understand that we you know in a sense a woman probably doesn't really need a man so maybe that's in one way like sometimes i might find myself saying that and i don't necessarily mean that isn't oh i don't need no man you know what i mean i mean that isn't I am a strong black woman, like you said, I can take care of myself, so what else can you bring to the table? What else can you give to me besides just laying down with me at nighttime? You know what I mean? I don't need you for none of none of the other, but what else can you offer? You know what I mean? It's not about you giving anything to me, but what else can you offer to me? You know what I mean? What else can you give to me as a man that I can't give myself as this strong black woman? And Some with penis. black men, huh, see, uh -oh, no, that is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> That is one thing, but with that, I mean, and you also have to look at the statistical things that they put out about a typical black man. They don't want nothing from us. They just want what he said, some, you know, girly parts and then you up on about your way or you got something else to do. And it's a lot of strong men out here. I can't say all of y'all ain't good. And Rock solid. For nothing. Tio 260 That's not the Instagram. case. I just feel like. Rock solid 260 Here, I can speak from Fort Wayne and the experiences I've had here. I've right. never really dealt with another man. And they say when you go other places, men, of course, they grow up with different morals. Of course, they're going to act a different way. But as far as from the situation here in this city, I just feel like a lot of the men here, it's not that y'all not good or it's no good ones left or however y'all want to look at that. I just feel like a lot of them are lost. They don't Ooh. really know that purpose yet. They don't really know what's going on with themselves yet for them to try to even entertain another woman or to give them all of themselves when they don't know themselves just like a woman you have to take that time to get to know yourself women are a lot faster with learning we can you know what i mean learn ourselves a lot quicker you know what i mean or at least that's the you know what i mean how they put it women grow faster than men but I do feel like, you know what I mean? It takes men time to progress, to learn, to go through situations, to put yourself in that standpoint, you know? Black up? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Hold on, let me say now, there's a difference between the man and the boy. Yeah. We always say man and we always say woman. And you said there's a lot of men out here for Wayne. I guess I should say boys, huh? Uh, <laughs> that are lost. <laughs> Um, I totally forgot what I was about to say. Um, I didn't forget what I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> well, go ahead. Oh, Could I, you just elaborate when you say that, um, taking your time, talk to the ladies and, and about take how, how important is it to take, to take that time, time out to, um, because you got a lot of women, especially black women who will jump from relationship to relationship exactly. and, uh, you know, coming from a woman's standpoint, I'm pretty sure we all have been hurt. We all have right. been lied to. And we all want that good person. So talk to the ladies about, um, you said that there's a lot of black males lost and it's, they don't know how to treat a woman. It's vice versa. Okay. Exactly what you was about to say. It's oh, vice okay. versa. Um, because women are lost. Lisa too. Love in you the building. I mean? <laughs> we we all go through those stages, and I'm only 21. I can't say I'm the most wise woman alive, and I know everything, because it's a lot that I still gotta learn myself. But at the same time, what I feel like a lot of women, and I say statistic a lot, because I feel like that's what happens. We become brainwashed from everything that we see. They show you what a family should look like. They show you what an African woman should act like or what she should be like. So then we get lost in that image of what we should be like and forget what we really are. You know what I mean? <laughs> so with that, when it comes to women, I just feel like as a woman myself, Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm 21, but I've had to take that time, go through those breakups, get my heart broken, feel like, oh, I don't want to be with another dude. And you know what I mean? It's, it's part.
part of life is part of learning, but you never give up and you never settle for less. You know what I mean? At the end of the day with women, I feel like women always want that, like I said, that special feeling, that 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 um, protection, should I say. They always want that man to back them. But I feel like as women, we also need to learn how to back ourselves and how to love ourselves and be a hundred with yourself. Understand that we all have flaws. Even Beyonce can sing about being flawless. But she still has her flaws because when you see that makeup on her face on that video, what's she trying to cover up? Okay. You made a comment about, uh, you know, moving to other places and different guys and everything. Right. My thing is, is this, and you, and again, we, us guys, we, we get it from just a lot of females. I didn't hear several females say, mm -hmm. I'm moving. I'm out of Fort Wayne. Ain't no good guys here. Nothing but dogs. I'm out. <laughs> but then they move and, and you look the at the situation. Because it's the person. Mm -hmm. It's not you're going to go find something else different. It's just the fact that, and excuse me, America, you get your <laughs> whole numbers up in Fort Wayne. And you think you got to go. And you okay. go and move. Okay. You still got them whole numbers. It's just that. And those don't leave you just because you Why? Right. They don't leave the no. because you in <laughs> the bottom miles, they was they was falling off. Okay. It's, it's the person. Because I, I can yeah, honestly say that I know somebody who, oh, I got to get out of here. And they went and moved. Uh-huh. And they still by themselves. Oh, I, I agree with you on that 110% because I've seen that myself. A young woman who stays here and see, I went to high school with a lot of the younger generation and we all know that they are, what do they call them nowadays, thoughts, the T-H-O-T. <laughs> um, Terrible that, word. That thought out here or however you want to abbreviate that. I've grown up with a lot of those girls and that's exactly what happens. They put themselves out there and they do it for the fame and the publicity and the... The fact that they're known or, you know what I mean? Whatever it is you want to say. They put themselves out there like that so they can become somebody. But then get mad at everybody else when there's somebody you didn't became. It's Tatiana from up the street and around the corner. But that's your fault. You can't move. I'm lost. What's going on? <laughs> While we, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> we do this all the time. <laughs> Not just playing, but. So, so just, just off what you just said, do you feel like it's a shortage of, um, Good black men? No, not From, at all. Okay. What do you find? What do you? Where, where are these black men at? That women say that they can't they find. They everywhere. They everywhere. It's about what you attract. You know. What I mean? Everything the, in this world. In this world. Are you at the radio on. show of Blackout Radio? <laughs> 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 I'm back. Hey, I'm back, y'all. He said. He said. Are they at the radio show? I'm oh back. My God. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Yes, everything since I've gotten here has been great. So I'm, I don't know how I feel. I'm loving it. I can't right. say nothing bad. So you can keep it real. You can dog us if I, if I, was, if I was inappropriate. I mean, like, well, y'all not dogs. I was trying to tell the ladies that earlier. Oh, okay. Okay. CL260. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm single. Hey, that's going on this Christian mingle account. <laughs> Trial, trial and error. That's what he said. Right. Okay. So, so I, you know, you you have spoke on your kids. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, this is my first time meeting you, so I don't really know too much. But you spoke on your kids. Uh, could you tell us about motherhood? Are you single? Hmm. Or is it? Or is it? AKA complicated. It like is. They say on, on it Facebook. Is. It. I mean, it's complicated because it's it's personal. You right. know what I mean? It's it's complicated because every relationship is complicated. We, right. you know, it's been years down the line. Right. Everything ain't gonna be as picture perfect as, you know what I mean, when we first got together. But as far as our children, oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade that for 10 million bucks tomorrow. You right. know what I mean? My kids are my everything. I have Princess Lily and King RJ and they enough. What, what, what are the ages? My son is two and my daughter, she'll be one next month. And I had her on my birthday, believe it or not. 
Back oh, to so back. you just had them. Yeah. Back to back. Can't be too complicated. She ain't wasted no. <laughs> Can't be too complicated. Somebody <laughs> make it. Look, look. she ain't wasted no <laughs> time. <laughs> I didn't yeah. waste no time, but I can't say though. It's not like you know what I mean. I was always the one, and I'm embarrassed to say this now because I love my kids. But I was always the one that told my mama, "You better not expect no grandkids out of me because I ain't have none." And then I did that, and I was just like, "Well, I guess." I mean, right. So, do do you plan on having any more? Mm -mm. Oh, so you done? Mm -hmm. So, will they? Tied no, up and tied but it, it ain't I'm over then. No, I'm not over. <laughs> right, you, you got to oh, you gotta make some names. Right, yep. Nowadays you have to be 25 or you have to have three kids. I don't know why you gotta have three kids, but I'm not willing to sacrifice this body for another one. It might not look right. I had two and I'm I'm still in good gracious. It I better stop playing. Okay. I better yeah. stop playing look because damn. this time it might not be. Right. No disrespect right. to the man, but it look cool. <laughs> Trust me, y'all. This is the least of anybody's. So I, I, I noticed you got a couple tattoos. Uh, are you? How do you? Are you into tattoos? Or? Uh, yeah, I want another one. How, like, how many? I, I only see the two. How many tattoos do you actually have? Just three. I only have three. Oh, okay. Roman numeral twenty two because that's my lucky number. Right. Um, my son's name was just Rolando, and this Ooh, one. Oh, she showed those skin. Y'all see that? Look, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can't see it. Can you show us again? <laughs> This boy is a fool. You um, can't get me in trouble on the radio. Right. Hey, no disrespect. You, hey, you, you can't, you can't, you can't go, you can't go back to the radio. Look, you can't yeah, go to your muscle is bicep. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yes, it is. Um, <laughs> so tell the people about um, why you wanted to get involved in radio and your blog. Okay, so. I never really, I wouldn't say it was necessarily just radio that I thought about being a part of. I just considered it hosting, period, whether it had been, you know, a TV show, radio show, you know, on YouTube, because that was the original plan. Get on YouTube, start making my podcast. own. Podcast. Right, right. My own podcast, webisodes, whatever you want to call them. Do the interviews, get people's opinions, do things like we are now, and, you know what I mean, put that out there. So, the fact that I don't got to go through all the back page right. and story with all of that and y'all want to save me i'm happy <laughs> okay right. so so you you uh you had you had mentioned earlier you from indianapolis mm -hmm. right so are were you born in indianapolis or were you born for it? i was born in indianapolis so I, here. I mean no disrespect to my city i love you guys but what, what made you decide to move from indianapolis to fort wayne was it the kids mm -hmm. parents mm -hmm. my parents moved here um my mom moved here with my siblings father way back when i was in like second or third grade right. so i was little then and i've been here ever since i mean i've gone back like i believe my sophomore year of high school and i lived there for a couple months but never really liked it because once you get used to that you know being somewhere and it is a lot slower here it's not as fast paced mm -hmm. I don't, I couldn't, I would love to drive there. I right. love to drive fast. So they speed right. limits, that fit me. <laughs> but not knowing where I'm going when I'm driving, I can't get with that right, one. It's, right. it's just too much territory. So like, as far as, you know, like he had mentioned, you interviewing people and stuff like that. What do you look to take, you know, some of the ambitions you have as far as, you know, interviewing your blog or YouTube or podcast? Do you have any goals and ideas set up to where you want to take your brand? Um, yeah, my goal though within itself, I would say is just to create a brand, right. you know what I mean? First and foremost, create a name for myself and you know, like I said, regardless to if that's hosting radio, hosting mm -hmm. on TV or, Blackout, you know what I mean, Blackout, being a model, whatever it is, okay. whatever it takes me, because I've, I've done a couple of little modeling jobs, so right. that's okay, it's just, I really, my goal right now is just to create that brand, build myself up enough to get myself out there to the people and right. then, you know, wherever that avenue goes. So if, if, uh, if people were, were looking to, to find, uh, LL, that's what I call the double L. <laughs> where, where could they go to find you at? Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. That's Lisa Love. Right. Um, no, no space, no hyphen, no numbers. Just straight just up Lisa Love. Lisa Space Love. Okay. You know. Some um, people is retarded. Right? You gotta explain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop kissing. Your love is my heart's been racing.